Well, we keep just doing special things for Yes Saturday, and um, you know what? I, I'm fine with it. I really am. And we'll we'll get back to them actually next week. But it's still it's close to the edge. <laughs> we did close to the edge like two weeks ago, but it was a different version. What can I do? Hi guys, welcome to Elite Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. It was actually not hot today for the most part. I mean, if you stayed in the shade at least. Um, so we took Danica for a walk. Everyone got to go outside and get some energy, you know, spent and not cooped up in the house because it's 100 degrees out and we don't have AC in the car. So, uh, yeah, it was a good day. Um, and we're doing a special thing today, courtesy of our patron, Paul. Thank you for your support, Paul. I appreciate you, brother. Um, it is Rick Wakeman performing Close to the Edge. Um, but the actual album came out in 2001. It's called Two Sides of Yes, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, and it was like him just ba basically playing his greatest hits um, from Yes on the piano. There's also Don't Kill the Whale. I forgot about that song. Uh, Roundabout, Close to the Edge, Your Move, Wondrous Stories. Ooh, I love Wondrous Stories. And it's 7 minutes and 51 seconds long. What? I gotta hear that one. Um, and yeah. You know we love Rick on this channel. And I'm, I have a soft spot for keyboards, pianos, all... All those sorts of instruments and um rick is one of the best he really is so i'm excited for this thanks paul if y'all are subscribed please help brother out click that icon right below my face we do a yes adjacent video every saturday around 10 a.m eastern standard time come hang out in the chat we'd love to have you all right rick wakeman close to the edge solo piano three two one go My mind's probably going to be blown by the end, isn't it? I have that feeling. Turn around. different scene. He had glasses on and he didn't. I love how he has the percussion kind of added into it. Those extra notes, I feel like, really fill the space out well.
hired. <laughs> He's got the job. Oh. That is gorgeous. It's perfect. It's like John's voice is in there too, in a way. those sharps and flats man it's just oh it's got this oomph to it Actually sad it's over. Wow, great pick, Paul. That was phenomenal. Wow. He really like <laughs> played all the parts himself, man. All just that's incredible, man. Um I remember the first time I listened to Close to the Edge, uh many moons ago, about a year ago. <laughs> and uh Man, the the second like I had been holding it together, but the second that organ hit, it was game over, man. That um that song pierced me like an arrow, like right through the heart, dude. Um and the soul at the same time, and it just uh kind of I don't know, awoken it kind of awoken it kind of awakened uh something in my brain, you know. Some of the songs that I've listened to on here, just a couple though, that, like they've honestly changed me in a way it's weird i don't know how to explain it but uh close to the edge is one of them and 
Rick's part was probably the most important important part, other than John and Steve and Chris. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Everybody. Um. Uh. Man. Well, how talented do you have to be to be able to do something like this? You know what I mean? Like how much effort and practice and just time goes into being able to play just that seven minutes worth of music right there. And I know Rick is like super talented and um, he's been doing that his whole life. Uh, it's how he survives, man. Literally, he um, so talented. It's I just I, I keep thinking about. He added John's voice in there. He, I, I, heard, I, I almost heard it, like literally in my ears. Um, he had Steve's solo in there. He had some of Chris's bass. Um, he had, like, I could hear some of Bill's percussion actually in the beginning, like the first couple minutes. That kind of faded, and he focused more. I think I, I feel like on, um, kind of like John's voice or Steve's guitar. Uh, but the rhythm was always there, and he just kept it up the whole entire song. I mean. I mean, he didn't do, you know, the entire song like that. You know what I mean? But, like, for the entire length of this, he just didn't stop, man. Those fingers just kept going, bro. Um, they, like I said, there's other tracks on the album, too. Um, and uh, where did it go? Oh, that's crabby. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, Your Move, Wonder Stories, Long Distance, Don't Kill the Whale, Close to the Edge, Roundabout, and The Meeting. Man. So obviously the only person who played on this one was Rick, but there's other people who were also on the album. Oh, and Roger Dean did the artwork. I think we saw it in the video. Um, I mean, <laughs> he didn't do the entire song. Like he did like the, um, I think like the highlights of each movement from the song itself. And he hit the, he hit the high notes. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, there's really no low notes, you know, in that song, metaphorically speaking. Um, but yeah, he basically played the highlights and I still can't believe he did that. He played every single instrument with just two hands and a piano and it sounded wonderful. <laughs> it really did. Um, like I said, piano is the first instrument I ever learned. Um, I can never remember if it, was, if it was Miss Largo or Miss, was it Cl Miss Largo? I can't see first grade. It's gone now, man. Like some of the stuff I remember, but no, it's not weird how memory works. Like when I remember when I was a kid, I could remember being four and three and stuff like that. And I was like eight, but once you hit like 20 or 18 or, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't remember being three or four really. And then once you hit my age, it's hard to remember being 10 and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of weird how you just kind of go on your life, you know, just living your life and you just forget stuff and learn new stuff. And that stuff is just gone. You know, you're the only person that's experienced your life and all those memories Every single event, every second, you know, it's only you. You're the only person that sees it all. And it's just gone eventually. I feel like it's such a waste. Like, if you really think about it, uh, this is my <laughs> nihilistic Lee coming out. Um, it all really just doesn't matter in the end because everybody just, you know, fades away and gets forgotten eventually. No matter how, no matter how much time passes, and it, it could take forever. Well, not forever, but you know what I mean. It could, it could take thousands of years for your name to be forgotten. Like, say jesus or something like that you know um but i don't know it, it just doesn't i don't know it's sad but i hope that uh somehow our memories just remain you know and in some form or fashion you know after we go you know uh, or whatever happens afterwards i don't know i have no clue um i have an idea though of what it is but it's very complicated and it doesn't make any sense <laughs> it, it makes sense to me on the inside but when i say it out loud it doesn't make sense at all if you get what i'm saying um but on the inside like I'm, i just feel like that's what it is you know but i could be wrong i'm open to you know my mind being changed about things but i think it's mostly for stuff like that i think it's mostly up to the person itself yourself than anything um wouldn't that be crazy if we created our own heaven and hell when we died or you just never really technically die. That's the weird one. Like you just, uh, if you do die, you just kind of go to a parallel universe and it just keeps going and keeps going. It's like intrinsic reincarnation, whatever. Um, I think that's really cool, but I'm off topic. Um, <laughs> Rick is, uh, yeah, he's one of my favorites. Um, him, Emerson, uh, 
Rick from uh, Pink Floyd. There's a lot of just keyboardists, pianists, whatever that we've encountered on this channel. They're just extraordinary, you know. Uh, Reese from uh, Double Trouble with uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. There's a lot, man. But <laughs> at the end of the day, Rick was the first one. Other than Keith, no, because I listened to Keith too around that time. But he was the first one that really made an impact. Because like I said, once that organ solo hit in Close to the Edge, I lost it. Like it was almost like a dam broke inside me. And like a bunch of emotions and memories that have been building up for years kind of just let loose at that moment, you know? And um, I just... Never felt the same since. I really haven't. It's helped me a lot. And um, yeah, I love Yes. And I love this song. And I know that we've done some form of it in the <laughs> two times in the past three weeks. And I apologize for that if you guys are getting tired of this song. So um, I'm not. I love it. So we're going to do another Yes track next week. Um, I was thinking about going back to the self-titled. Not like, not the Yes album, but the actual, the first album. Or time in a word. There's some stuff that I've missed, but I don't know exactly what to do. You know, I did this because this was a request, but I was going to pick something else. But I don't know if you guys have any suggestions for yes or where we should go next or what album to finish. Because we've done mostly we've done all the yes album. We've done all of their uh, topographic oceans. Uh, we've done the one with wonder uh, parallels and stuff like that. Oh, going for the one. We've done close to the edge. We've done most of the albums, but uh, we didn't. Do, we never finished Tormato or Drama or stuff like that. So if you guys have, have an idea, leave it down below. Maybe I'll pick it, and uh, I'll credit you if I do pick it. So thank you again, Paul. That was great. Hopefully you all enjoy that for um, our Yes Saturday. That's a nice, eloquent, pretty way to start our Saturday if you're watching Day Premiere. I love that. Thanks for watching. Patreon. Woo! That's a picture. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you join the $15 tier up, you get one free request a month for this last month only. Um, let me post in the stuff for it uh, either today or tomorrow. I have half of it typed up. It's not that complicated. I'm just a busy dude now. It's crazy watching the kids trying to do six videos a day at night. You know, it's just it's a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But with your support, um, this channel runs so efficiently. And I just I get exposed to so much stuff, guys. It's crazy. Like, I can't even thank you enough. Like, there's no way to repay what you guys have done for me. So I'm just going to be continue to be grateful um, because I really am. And y'all mean a lot to me. You guys know that. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching.